So today is the day for Hadith class and today we will study from the book Sunan Ibn Majah and Hadith number is 1672. So here again when you will write the questions, you need to write the questions and answer. You will also write the reference. In the next class, I will ask you for the answers. So at the top, you write this heading, Hadith class from Sunan Ibn Majah. Here, you better write the Hadith number. Here, I have written 1, 2, 3, 4, but you better write the Hadith number. Then you will write your question here. And you will also write your answer. Similar, note everything because when you will start teaching, you will follow the similar pattern. So, now we will read the first studies, inshallah. Read this one. Firstly, now we will bismillah. Start. Me or Sister Isa Nafisa? I think Isa has some internet problems, so you better read. Okay. The Arabic side or the English side? Only English side because we don't know Arabic yet. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever does not fast one day in Ramadan without having a concession allowing that, Fasting for a lifetime will not make up for that. Daif. So this hadith is for those who miss the fast without any reason. Sometimes they just don't, they are not mood of fasting, so they miss a fast. So this hadith is for those. If Even if they fast for their whole life, that will not be enough for this misfast okay huh. so here can anyone make up the loss of intentionally intentionally missed fast can anyone make up the loss of intentionally miss fast. Intentionally miss fast means a fast that anyone miss without any reason. Without any valid Islamic reason. So is there any way to make up the loss of that? And the answer is no. Even if someone fast for the whole life, still he cannot make up the loss Loss means the loss of reward from Allah. For every fast, there is a reward from Allah. And when someone intentionally misses it, they can never make up that loss. So the answer you will write, no. He cannot make up the loss, even if he fast for the whole life. And in the reference, we would write Hadith number 1672 from Sunan Ibn Majah. When it says Daif, what does, what does that mean? Okay, Daif. There are different uh, categories in Hadith. Sahih Hadith, Hassan Hadith, Daif Hadith. And Sahih means a very strong hadith, 
Hassan hadith, Daif hadith mean weak hadith. So, for example, there is no command for us in this hadith. But let's suppose there is a hadith in which some command is given to you. If it is Sahih hadith, you have no other choice but to accept it and to follow it. It is a kind of first for you. But if a command is given in Daif Hadith or Hassan Hadith, it is optional for you. Okay? It is optional for you. Let me give you an example for it. For example, there is a Hadith which tells you that you cannot read uh, you cannot read the Quran while you are in the state of Janaba. That is a Sahih Hadith. So it is a necessary thing for you that you cannot read Quran during the state of Janaba. Okay. But uh, there is another hadith which is uh, Hassan hadith or you can also call it Daif hadith which says that you cannot read hadith during menstruation. But that is a Hassan hadith so it is optional for you. Optional. The first command is necessary because it is Sahih hadith. It is a necessary command for all of us whether it is a man or woman. And the second thing at this that I mentioned is optional. So this is the main difference between Sahih and Isa and Hassan and Dhaif Okay? Okay. Basically, these categories were made uh, on the basis of authenticity of the Hadith. But that is a lengthy topic. I will not go in that detail. Okay, next student. Uh, Aisha. Jahan Ala. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Can you repeat the question and the answer? Do you hear us? Next student. Can Jihan. anyone yeah. make up? Can anyone make up the laws of intention of the fast? Intentionally missed fast. Okay. What is the answer? What is the answer? Do you have a notebook? Yes. Did you write the answer? Without writing, this will not benefit you at all. You will be just wasting your time. Next to Don John or after. Did you write the answer? Uh, yes. Sorry? Yes, I did. Okay, tell me the answer, please. Uh, the answer is no, someone can't um, make up the fast that they intentionally not get. Your sound is not audible to us. We can't understand your answer. Okay. Miss Mahbuba, you better tell the answer. Um... Someone who miss intentionally misses the fast for no uh, no Islamically valid reason, they cannot make up the fast even if they fast their entire life. Mm, they cannot make up the loss. Okay. The loss of the fast. Mm -hmm. Now read the next one. Chapter 15, what was narrated concerning one who breaks his fast out of forgetfulness? 
1673, it was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Whoever eats out of forgetfulness when he is fasting, let him complete his fast, for it is Allah who has fed him and given him to drink." And this one's Sahih. So during the initial days of Ramadan, it happens to some people that they forget that they are in the month of Ramadan and they just drink something or maybe they eat little bits without unintentionally. Allah knows our intention. So they unintentionally eat something by mistake. So that does not break the fast. Okay. Okay. So here we will write the question. Does eating out of forgetfulness during fasting? breaks the fast. Does eating out of forgetfulness during fasting breaks the fast? The answer is no. And Allah knows our intentions. The answer is no. And Allah knows our intentions. So the Hadith number is 1673. 1673. So repeat the question and the answer. Does eating out of forgetfulness during fasting break the fast? Um, the answer is no. If he, if the person has eaten out of forgetfulness, then it doesn't break the fast, and Allah knows our intentions. No, read the next one. Oh, sorry. It was narrated that Asma bin Abu Bakr said, we broke our fast on a cloudy day at, at the time of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then the sun appeared. Sahih. I, and I, one of the narrators, said to Hisham, were they commanded to make up for that day? He said it had to be made, made up according to Hisham's opinion. So basically, at that time, one day, uh, there was a many quite a many clouds on the sky, and people in by mistake break their fast before the time. So that does not break our fast. Okay, no need to worry about it. If our intention is good, then nothing to worry about. But if we intentionally eat, then the problem occur, and we have to repeat our fast. Okay. So same question one. Now read this next one. What was narrated concerning a fasting person who vomits? It was narrated that Abu Masruq said, I heard Fadala bin Ubaid al-Ansari narrating that the Prophet wasallam came out to them on a day when he was fasting. He wasallam called for a vessel and dr drank. We said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, you were fasting today. He said, Yes, but I vomited. So, this is about vomiting that happens during the fasting. 
there's one more of this read that as well then we will write the question it was narrated from abu huraira that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever unintentionally vomits he does not have to make up for the fast but whoever makes himself vomit has to make up for the fast and that one is daif so there are two types of vomiting one is intentional vomiting and the other is unintentional write the question about both of them what is the ruling about the vomiting during the fasting what is the ruling about the vomiting during the fasting in the answer you will write if the vomiting is intentional it breaks the fast and we will make up for the fast later later mean after ramzan so you right if the vomiting is intentional it breaks the fast and we will have to make up for the fast later so let me know after Ramadan. Then we will say, and if it is unintentional, then it does not break the fast. If it is unintentional, then it is, it does not break fast. It does not doesn't break the fast or he doesn't have to make it up because if he if the prophet wasallam drank water afterwards wouldn't that break the fast yes if after you sometime let's suppose i had a vomit and it is unintentional vomit if mm -hmm. i need to drink water after it then it will break the fast but if sometimes vomit occurs and I don't feel the need of water and I think I still remain good, then I can make, continue the fast. It does not break it. But okay. we need to know that some scholars even say that even if it is unintentional, still it breaks it. Why they say this thing? They say it because of this hadith. Because this hadith does not mention, this hadith does not mention whether the vomiting was intentional or unintentional. So, because of this hadith, some scholars say that fasting breaks even when it is unintentional. Vomiting is in, unintentional. But uh, this is a thing which is unclear to us. So, we should not be very strict on that in my opinion but you can disagree with me as well okay okay hmm. so i just told you that there's a difference of opinion of scholars on the meaning of this and this because this say this does not mention that whether that uh, vomiting was intentional or unintentional and there is a difference of opinion on this so what do you think what is your personal opinion what is your understanding from these and these do you think unintentional vomiting also breaks the fast um i think 
according to this hadith, I would say yes, it would break the fast because I don't think that the Prophet ﷺ would break his fast intentionally or make himself vomit intentionally. Okay, so this so, means in both cases, the fast will break according to your opinion. Am I right? According to, yeah, according to my opinion, yes. Yes. But, Okay. No problem sure because then. it happens when we read the hadith. Everyone has different mind. So everyone has different understanding. Even the scholars also have two opinions on this hadith. As I told you, some say that mm -hmm. it is only for intentional vomiting and some say it is for both because it does not clearly mention it. I personally, mm -hmm. usually when there is a benefit of doubt, I give the people benefit of doubt. So that's why my opinion is that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Next, this is this. Read this one. Um, give me one second, please. I'm just writing um, just something on a note on the last one. Sorry? One second, I'm just writing a note on the last one. Okay. Okay. Um. No, read the next one. Okay. What was narrated concerning the tooth stick and call for one who is fasting? It was narrated from Aisha that the messenger of Allah وسلم, said one of the best actions for the fasting person is using the tooth stick and the daif. daif. So basically the question that we can write here is can a fasting person use tooth stick? The answer is yes. Can the person use tooth stick? during fasting can the person use a tooth stick during fasting the answer is yes the answer is yes according to the hadith 1677 Repeat the question and answer. So, can the person use a tooth stick during fasting? And according to Sunan uh, Majra 1677, yes. Yeah. Now read this one. It was it was narrated that Aisha said the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam applied call to his eyes while he was fasting. Do you know what is call? It's like shurma um, or kajol. Okay. okay, good. What is your uh, native language? Um, Bengali. Bengal. So you are from Bangladesh. Yeah, my parents are. Okay. So they were in, born in Bangladesh and then they moved to UK and you were born in UK. Yes. And they both are Bengali. Yes. So it was... Uh, say we can write another question. Can a person use kohol during fasting?
can the person use Google during fasting? The answer is yes. According to the Hadith, 1678. Repeat the question and the answer. So the question is, can the fasting person use call while fasting? Mm -hmm. And the answer is yes, according to Sunan Majah 1678. Okay, good. Now read the next one. What was narrated concerning cupping for the one who is fasting? It was narrated from Abu Huraira Abu that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the kappa and the one for whom cupping is done for both break their fast. And that's Sahih. Um, it was no Okay, so do you know what is cupping? Yeah, it's like hijama, you know, where they put the yes. cups on the back and blood comes out. Correct. So... Is cupping is cupping allowed during the fasting? During the fasting, is cupping allowed during the Fasting, the answer is no, absolutely not. Or you can just write no, it is not allowed. And this number 1679. Mm -hmm. 1679. So, this is a kind of command for us, so and it is a sahih. So, this means we have no other choice. And we cannot make any excuse. If anyone cups while having a fast, it will break the fast. The both person, the one who is doing and the one who is receiving the treatment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Repeat the question and answer. Um, can someone who is fasting... Oh, sorry. Is... Is cupping allowed during the fasting? No. Um, according to the Sahih Hadith in Sunan Majah 1679, cupping is not allowed and it breaks the fast of the person who is doing the cupping and who has it done. The, the one who it is done for. Read the next one. It was narrated. That Thauban said, I heard the Prophet وسلم, say, say, the kappa and the one for whom cupping is done for both break their fast. And this is Sahih. So, same thing is repeated in this and this. Next. Mm -hmm. It was narrated from Abu Kilaba that when Shaddad bin Aus was walking with the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Al-Baqi, he passed by a man who was being cupped after 18 days of the month of Ramadan had passed. The messenger of Allah said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the kappa and the one for whom cupping is done both break their fast. This is also sahih. So same question is repeated in this sahih and this. Mm -hmm. Next. 
it was narrated that Ibn Abbas said the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had cupping done when he was fasting and in ihram. This is Sahih. Read the comment as well for this and this. According to Sheikh Albani, may Allah have mercy on him, the mentioned hadith is authentic with the following wording. He was cupped while he was fasting and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was also cupped in a state of ihram. Cupping while fasting and while whilst in the state of ihram are, are two separate occasions. It is not the case that the cupping took place and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in a state of ihram at the same time he was fasting too. So basically, Imamman, scholars think that the uh, Etajama Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa huwa Simon Muhriman some scholars believe that at that time Prophet ﷺ was not fasting there. These are two different occasions. But according to the wording, some people think that he was fasting at that time. But in the previous three Sahihadis tells us that we cannot fast during cupping. So we will follow that statement, which is which are clear statements. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now read the next one. What was narrated concerning a fasting person kissing? It was narrated that Aisha said the Prophet wasallam used to kiss during the month of fasting. This is Sahih. In the next one, it was narrated that Aisha said the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to kiss when he was fasting, and who among you can control his desire as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to control his desire? This is Sahih. So here we have two things. We write the question for it. Can husband and wife kiss each other during fasting? Can husband and wife kiss each other during the fasting? According to these hadiths, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. But this hadith also tells us one more thing that who among you can control his desires as Messenger of Allah used to control. So basically it means that if they kiss each other, then there are High chances they will lose control on their self and they will end up in bed. So sexual intercourse is not allowed in during the fasting. So this means there are chances that they may break the fast to, to normal people. It is not recommended. So if you think you cannot control yourself, then you better not do it. But legally it is allowed to you. So here we will write the answer. Yes, it is allowed. But humans are weak. So it is not recommended. It is recommended not to do during fasting. And that recommendation also comes from Aisha, not from a common person. It is That recommendation is also from Aisha, who can control his desires. I must say, Allah says, I so answer you right, yes, it is allowed, but it is recommended that you don't do it. 
it is recommended that you don't do it. Repeat the question and the answer. Um, is kissing allowed for a fasting person? Um, yes, it is allowed according to Aisha in I will be pleased with her in Sunamajas 1683. But in the next hadith, 1684, it is allowed, but it, humans are weak, so it is recommended to avoid it or to not do it. Okay. 